women died in the 1950s and 60s and probably before that because they had no right to choose and were getting back alley abortions to now women in 2017 are either dying getting permanently disfigured being rushed to the hospital because they're getting back alley butt injections in a basement in a hotel room or in another foreign country that does not match up that is not okay Okay, so um, thank you so much for tuning into my uh, channel. Thank you for watching this video. I am Ely, of course, from Ely the Phoenix, and I'm so happy to have you here. Um, if you are new, welcome to the party. The water is nice. And if you're returning, what's up? And thank you so much for continuing to support me. Either way, if you have not hit that subscribe button, hit it now. That way you know whenever I post a new video. So let's get into this topic. First off, let me say that I am not bashing plastic surgery. In fact, I made sure that even though I wear makeup almost every day, not every day, but I do wear makeup a majority of the week, I wanted to make sure I was made up to show that I'm not saying that there's like there's anything particularly wrong with wanting to enhance your beauty, whether it's makeup or hair extensions. I'm not gonna lie, these are hair extensions. I have beautiful curly hair. Sometimes I wanna switch it up. I'm not ashamed to say that these extra extensions are not my hair. It's hair though, but it's not my hair. <laughs> um, I'm not bashing that. I just wanted to be clear. I don't think, um, well, I'm not bashing makeup and hair extensions and I'm not bashing even like breast augmentations or a Brazilian butt lift. All I'm saying is that if you're going to do it, be educated and don't do it because society is compelling you to feel like your body's not good enough. In today's society, we are bombarded with visuals of what the perfect woman is. Even if they don't say the perfect woman, essentially that's what they're getting at. That the woman with the Coke bottle figure or a fat ass or big double D's or bigger boobs are what's mainly attractive in this society. Models went from trying, well, we still have really, really thin models, but now you see the Instagram model or the magazine model now who all of a sudden has like an ass to hip to, or yeah, ass to hip to waist ratio that's like, what the hell? That's not natural. And yet nobody wants to even say that they got injections. People are so desperate to look like this made up image. Some people are naturally shapely, but everyone's not like that. Um, especially for me as an African-American woman, I don't look like that. And I'm very natural. So when someone like me sees all these images, thankfully for myself, I'm very secure. For the most part, I do have my own insecurities about, you know, what I look like. But even I had to check myself, to be honest, like wondering, you know, why do I want to do more squats? And then I was like, hold up. I look good and it's hard to it's not hard to but you get caught up when that's all you see on Instagram and that's who has the biggest followers or who has the most likes and the most people saying oh my gosh you're so gorgeous um you see that you see what they look like and subconsciously it sends that message like that's what I need to look like to be considered that beautiful and I wanted to make this video not to bash people who are doing it, but to speak out to everyone and say that you are beautiful the way you are, though. And please recognize that this is just the image of the moment of what is sexy. And it could very well change in a couple of years. And then where are you going to be with that big old butt? And those big old boobs that you did to yourself. I'm not saying if you're naturally like that, but that you did to yourself. Are you still going to feel that beautiful when this fad is over? When this is no longer what's considered hottest? You see stories of strippers saying they didn't start making money until they augmented their body and how for a while they tried not to, but then they, they needed to. They were going to try to be successful. That's not right. So I don't want this video to be completely ranty i didn't want it to be very long i just kind of wanted to bring up this topic and see what other people think about it so if you have um any comments or opinions um that either go with mine or against mine please leave them down below let me know what you think but i do want to leave with not just on a sour note or a ranty note but saying that we all need to take a good look at ourselves and take a good look at society and try to decipher between what do we feel like we need enhanced and what is society telling us? What are these rappers, singers, famous celebrities telling us? And is that why I want to enhance it? And if your answer is yes, 
and you're okay with that, then by all means. But at least you have an answer. At least you looked at it. And if your answer is, you know, you're right. Like, I am just trying to fit in with the times and I don't want to make such a big change to my body that I may not be able to reverse so easily. And you don't get it, then good for you. You've had an enlightened moment for yourself. Um, I personally don't think I'll be getting any plastic surgery in my lifetime. I think my butt's fine. I have a little butt. I don't really have any big zinkers <laughs> on the back or in the front. I've been the same size since I was in high school. I had a growth spurt and that was about it. And 10 years later, I still look probably, I mean, I feel like I look a little more adult, but not. I really look like the same though. So for me, it's different. I already have accepted this and I think I'm beautiful this way. Um, but I will say that if I did want to get an augmentation or if I did want to change anything, as long as I had had that conversation with myself that I was just speaking of, then I'll be okay. And I urge everyone else to do the same. So that's it. I want you all to know that you are beautiful the way you are. So many people can't afford these surgeries and are and, and then are miserable because of that. Don't be miserable. I know you have to save your coins for a bit. But while you're saving those coins, still um, embrace yourself. Still love yourself. You're still beautiful regardless. And I guess that's what I want to leave you with. Everyone is beautiful in their own right, in their own way. And it honestly ends up being up to you to embrace that and to believe it. So I will see you all in my next video. And thank you so much for watching.